Today I'm taking a look at the Vivor Safe Box. This is a fairly heavy box, so just be prepared for that. And they do actually have everything labeled, so we're going to be able to tell where all these parts go. Lots of foam padding between all the layers, which is great. And we got our keys right here on the door. So they gave us a screwdriver, got a couple pairs of gloves, we got a battery compartment, we got some anchors. So this is important because something like this, theoretically, if you were strong enough to be able to pick the whole thing up with everything that's inside of it, if we just screw this thing to the wall, then that's not gonna be able to happen. And then we got our hardware. So step one, we're gonna attach the front door to the two side walls. So with the door facing away from us, D is gonna go on the left and C is gonna go on the right. We're gonna attach that with these little self tap screws. That's good. I like that they did that. That way we're not going to have any hardware exposed on the outside, which means that nobody's going to be able to break into it just by unscrewing it. Everything's going to be hidden on the inside. So there's a total of five screw holes on each side. We're only going to do the top four for this step. Now we can grab our back wall and we're going to attach our pegboard to that. So one thing I'm noticing right now is that none of those self-tappers are actually pulling the threads out. So that is a testament to the quality of the steel. Attach that the same way we attach the front and walls. So we'll open this guy up for the first time, which I'm going to need to do. And just press down on the bottom, and then this panel will pop off. And then we can use our key, and then we can unlock it. So check out these bolts. These things, those are heavy duty. So we got two on the side, we got one on the top. I actually had some foam padding in here to make sure this isn't getting banged up. And there is another one on the bottom. So that is actually bolted from four different locations. Now we're going to screw in the top. This is F, and that'll also help to square everything up. So there's three going into each wall and in the back. The one in the front has to screw toward the door. We'll attach G to the bottom. So that is the main safe. Now what we got left are the accessories. This doesn't even require screws, you just take it and slap that in place. We got some hooks, so if we got some fancy bags or stuff that we want to hang up, we can use these for that. We got two of these foam holders, so those also just have hooks on the back that will hang onto the pegboard. And then our foam has these holes punched in, so we just take those and mash those onto those hooks. Very cool. So that is the whole thing assembled. That has a pretty cool, actually fairly spacious interior on it. So all that's left now is you gotta figure out how this door lock works. We got our battery compartment right here, and this uses four AA batteries. Okay, we had a beep. So here's the interesting thing. I was wondering what this was for, if we already got a battery pack on the inside. So this is in the event that the battery ever dies on that lock. You can plug this guy in and reactivate power so you can still get into the safe even if you don't have the key. So that means there's three ways to get into the safe. The first way is with the key. The second way is with the battery and just using a pin. And then the third way, if that battery dies, you use this and then also use the same pin. Either way, you still got to have a pin or a key. But it's nice to know that if I forget about the batteries, I still got a way of getting in. But once I have this thing closed, I can't unlock it again. So you do have to have either the key in or a password in order to unlock it. So the default password is one, two, three, four, and then pound. So that's cool. This is kind of neat. There's actually a little light here on the inside. So if we want to change the password, there is a button right here. So we're going to press that. Then we got to enter a new password within three seconds, and that can be anywhere between one and eight digits, and then hit the pound key to confirm. So let's go ahead and try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, pound. Okay, so that should be our new password. One, two, three, four, five, six, pound. Cool. So very easy to change your password. So if we ever needed to use this, we would just throw in four AA batteries, and then there is a port in the bottom right there. And now we'll be supplying power to this lock again. So yeah, overall, that is a very nice and fairly heavy safe. If you actually load this thing down, you're gonna have to be super strong to be able to pick that thing up. On top of that, I really like that we got a couple options for actually opening the thing up. It seems fairly secure. There's no screws on the outside. It looks nice and clean. That is a very nice safe.